Hey guys, how's it going? Today I'm going to do a review of these boots that I have on right now. These are my Alden Cap Toe boots in navy blue suede. They're on the Plaza Last, which is the only makeup that I have on the, on the Plaza Last are these. They're a little bit more formal, so I don't wear them all the time. I, I don't wear them, at, you know, I don't really wear them casually, like with a t-shirt. Um, and it's not because of the cap toe, it's more just because of the shape. The shape of the Plaza Last is kind of pointy. Um, it it kind of looks closer to like more of, a, of, a, of an Italian shoe or something like that. But it is a little bit longer lengthwise. It's, it's a little bit more narrow than, than the Barry or the True Balance last that I'm used to. So overall, it's, it's not my favorite last. It, it, is, it is a nice last though, I do, I do enjoy it. Um, it is comfortable, don't get me wrong, but it's, it's just not, if I, it, if I had my choice, I'd always have True Balance or Barry. It, it's, a, it's a boot that, I don't, that doesn't get much use in my collection, but, but it's one that I'm glad that, the st that, that I have it because it does fill sort of niche, niche areas that I need it to. All right, so I figure this is a good opportunity to get a shot of these in the snow. It's kind of hard to see what they look like up against the white snow. But uh, this all-weather walker sole really performs well in the snow. Yeah, I'd say even these probably outperform Commando soles, if I'm being perfectly honest. That rubbery resin feel that these have. Uh, really really grip the ground, you know It's it's really quite incredible Let's get these up on the sidewalk. Hopefully you can get a better contrast for what these look like My fancy socks going on today This crepe the crepe sole Really grips the ice so well, and that's why when it's real slippery outside I, I like to reach for these especially if I'm gonna be in a more, you know, in a somewhat semi-dressed up occasion, business casual. You know, if I have to go to work when it's like this outside, and I want to look stylish, but I also don't want to be slipping all over the place, these are the ones to go for. I have a couple other makeups on the All Weather Walker or the Crepe Soul. Nice suede texture there. Yeah, these really need to get more love. <laughs> I always say these need these need to be worn more, but then but then they don't get worn hardly at all, just because I don't wear them casually that often, unfortunately. So this review actually bled into a couple different days. I just uh, the weather was so bad out there, I couldn't I couldn't think straight. I'm gonna finish up this review on these on these blue suede uh, cap toe boots from uh, Alden of Seattle, I believe. I, I, I tried Googling the exact shop that I got these from. It was in Seattle, but I think they're somehow related to the Alden shop in Carmel, uh, I'm pretty sure. I did end up getting these about 10% off because these were the last pair in the stock. That store, that store in particular used to do that. They, they used to, uh, and it, it just depends on the store. You don't normally ever get Aldens on sale at a discount at all, but um, but yeah, I lucked out with these. They just it just happened to be that I was sort of shopping for a blue suede boot that Alden of Seattle shop had them. Um, again, I don't know if they're still in operation or if they've blended into a new shop recently. But yeah, I emailed with the people. I think the guy's name was person's name was Yenny that I talked to. Real nice. Uh, they were happy to give me a, a discount on these. So, so a little bit about the suede. This is this is suede from Charles F. Stead, which is the tannery in the in Leeds in the UK. The one that I'm constant I constantly recommend. Um, that suede is just real nice. Uh, I did spray this down as soon as I got this with uh, with uh, it's called Terrago is the company, and they make this stuff called Nano Spray Suede Protector sprayed that down twice with these and basically what that ensures and I've read some bad things about that like oh that'll that'll suffocate your suede or something like that I haven't had any bad experiences I've literally sprayed every pair of my suede shoes down with that stuff and it feels just as nice and soft and supple and I can't I don't think it's done caused any harm to the suede so I'm not worried about it I think I think it's turned out great because uh, when it rains, the water just beads up on the on the toes and, and 
when I'm walking through, when I get mud on these, I don't freak out because guess what? The mud just wipes right off. You know, same with my same with my snuff suede boots. I talked about that, how I got those all muddy one time. Wiped them off, ran them under the water, wiped them off. Can't tell. I like to really harp on that, that suede is not this delicate, fragile leather that it's that we've been led to believe that it is. No, no. And, and not that these have really been worn hard. In fact, I have a pair that I have worn hard. And in fact, I ordered both these pairs on the same day. <laughs> I went a little nuts that day. But yeah, this is my pair of, these are my Roy boots from Context Clothing. I, I talked about these before. Um, these are in, in the reverse tobacco chamois leather. Just a gorgeous leather. But these have probably been worn probably literally 10 times more literally multiplied 10 times more than these have and I'll kind of give you an idea of what the soles look like here yeah, I don't know if you can see that but you can see that the soles on the Roy boot are significantly more worn down than the soles on on the on the suede on the blue suede boot yeah uh, they, they don't look too bad really you could tell on the toe area I guess the toe is is gonna be much more telling actually the toe on the Roy boots Definitely got a little bit more wear going on than the than the toe on the plaza last. You could see. Uh, another thing that I really liked when I got these is I talk about how I love imperfections. Yeah, so I talked about how I love imperfections. Check out the stitching right there at the toe. You could see. You can see how the stitching right here. It's it's pretty uniform across here. Then right here it gets real, you get a lot of stitches kind of right there in that little edge there. And then it just kind of goes back to being pretty uniform throughout. Pretty flawless stitch for the most part. But yeah, just that, that toe area, I always thought that was so cool to look at. Again, I don't think that's a fly. I think, I think that's so cool to know that these were made by hand. Let's see, I don't think the other toe does it to that extent. You can still see some minor imperfections in the stitching there. But it's not quite to that extent. Most of the rest of it's pretty, pretty well done. Now, as for the shape of the Plaza Last, I do want to touch on that, and that's largely why these don't get a lot of wear. It's just because they look a little bit dressier. You can see it's more pointed towards the toe. It's actually a little bit longer. Now, these are in a size nine, because, because if you look at the Alden Last chart, you know, for the very last, the True Balance last, the Modified last, you want to size down half a size. For the Plaza last, the Grant last, the Laden last, there's a lot of lasts that are on the smaller end of the spectrum, and so you go true to size on those typically. So I want, I'm typically a size nine, and I went to nine in these. These, um, these Roy boots are on the True Balance last, so a big last. So I went in at eight and a half in those, and you can see that the ones on the very last, obviously much wider, much more generous of a fit, fits my foot perfectly. These ones in the nine, they're, they're narrower, they're tighter in the toe box, they're just kind of more narrow throughout. Like I said, it is a, still a comfortable boot. I still like it. it. You can see how symmetrically it's sort of triangular at the tip here though, whereas this is much more, the berry last is much more rounded. That's what I prefer. And if I could have these on a True Balance or a berry last, I would. But, but you know, getting these on sale, these were such a good deal. And this was my first experiment, my first time trying out the Plaza Last. So I'm not, I'm not at all complaining. I just, you know, it's just a lot sleeker and it's still, it's just a lot dressier. So I don't get away with wearing these with jeans and a t-shirt as much as I would like. I still do. I still do. Um, it, it just depends. It just depends on my mood. But uh, I have worn these casually before. But for the most part, I'm rocking these with a with a suit. For the most part, when when I throw these on, usually a collar. I don't always feel comfortable throwing on a, a V-neck with these. But I still do. It, it just it just depends. It, it the mood has to really strike me. And when I when it strikes me, I love it. Um, but yeah, you you can just see that that. I just kind of wanted to do that. Here, I'll get more up close so you can kind of see the difference between them. Work better is if you look at the sole shapes. 
yeah, I just, I just kind of wanted to show what, what those look like next to each other, just so you could kind of get an idea of what, what that Plaza Last really looks like. Um, so would I get another pair on the Plaza Last? Sure. I'm not outright rejecting this last. <laughs> I don't want to make it sound like that. So yeah, lengthwise it's it's good. Lengthwise it's perfect. Um, it's just the width. The width is what kind of gets me. And and lengthwise these are just a hair just a hair longer than the very last. Just just by a hair. Not even not not an, not even a full probably by a millimeter <laughs> I'd say. But so they're longer and, and yeah. So if you ha if you're the type that likes to wear Italian, Portuguese made shoes, shoes made in the uh, Iberian Peninsula, then yeah, this would be a good last for you. Um, but I just fall more in line with the English made, the American made, traditional stuff, the wide foot, definitely. Um, anyways, another another thing I wanted to mention about these is I've cycled through different laces with these. I've had uh, black rawhide laces on these, which were, which I think looked really nice. I ended up going back to, so these originally had blue flat waxed cotton laces from, from Alden. But uh, I ended up throwing, I had green on there at one point, I had uh, yellow laces on there at one point. And I, and I kind of ended up settling on, on the brown there. It's, it's not it's not too much of a contrast. Sometimes with, with suede, especially, pairing up laces can sometimes be tricky. And it's really, there's no rule. It's just really an aesthetic thing. And I just didn't feel right having green laces on these. The brown just kind of, and, and even, even the black rawhide, they were good. I feel like for the purpose of this boot and the, the hole that, that this boot fills in my wardrobe, I feel like the, the brown flat wax cotton laces were the best bet for these. Um, that's not to say I might not try some, some other shades of blue with these. I, I might do that, but we'll see. It's just, it's tricky, especially when you're getting into a dressier boot. The, the range of versatility as far as the laces goes, it just runs out. You just, you, you lose options the dressier it gets. Now with these, obviously, I got rawhide laces on those, but guess what? That also looks really good with these flat wax laces, they look good with round cotton laces. They look good with a lot of things. They would look fan absolutely fantastic with my olive laces, my green olive flat wax laces from Guarded Goods. Hell yeah, those would those would look super good with that. But then again, these are a very casual boot. This is a rough out leather. It's meant to look rugged. It's meant to be worn rugged. These, just sorry, they're just a little bit more refined and I can't push them into that that niche as far, you know, the, these are just a little bit more bound by the rules. <laughs> uh, as much as I hate rules, I do have to follow the rules. <laughs> so, but anyways, yeah, I'll be sure to include lots of pictures of how I've worn these again, mostly with suits, mostly with jackets. Even though these get worn probably once a month, I'm still really happy I have them. I, I, I do enjoy the heck out of these. And they're just a, it's just a killer makeup and and everybody needs every man needs a pair of blue suede shoes let's face it they're a classic they're iconic they're they're gorgeous that 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 suede is just gorgeous to touch and feel again I'm on Instagram you could you could follow me you could you could check out how I've worn these my, my username is aerosurfer LV feel free to leave a like on the video if, if you enjoyed it and found it informative thanks a lot and I'll see you in my next review